and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and I'm inviting you into my bathroom to experience toilet gaming with the one in best of one. When I say toilet gaming, I mean games you can win from the toilet. They're fast, they're easy, and it's apparently what Best of One Arena is all about. We've all got a sickness. It's called addiction to magic. We also are addicted to making rank go burr. The easiest way to do it is mono red, and everybody plays mono red. So I may as well at least try to point you in a direction that I think is right for the archetype. You don't have to take my word for it. I'm a known mono red hater. I hate losing to mono red. I build my decks around beating mono red. That is the truth. But if I were to play mono red, if I wanted to get my rank easy mode, if I didn't want to work for it anymore, and we've all had those days, then this is how I would build a mechanized warfare version. About a month, probably more than a month ago, I did a mono red deck that used mechanized, that did not use mechanized warfare, where everybody else was really into this card. And I said, I thought this card was a bit of a scam. For me, it's not the right card, but really what I meant, and often what I mean when I say I don't like a card, is it doesn't go in the deck I'm currently playing, it goes in a different deck. And I think that if you're going to play Mechanized Warfare, you need to bring it back to the Cavalcade of Calamity days, for those of you Arena Boomers. If we're gonna run End the Festivities, a Mechanized Warfare combo, I think it has to be the top of the curve, the most expensive thing you're gonna do. The rest of the deck, one mana cards, just, all the way down. One, one, one. The only thing that's new, 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 new here is the cacophony scamp, but it does give us a critical mass of this cheap effect that is good. And this reminds me of Fireblade Charger, which made the cut and pass mono red. It's really good with mechanized warfare because when it dies, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. But that can be two damage if you've got the warfare out. It can be uh, more damage. It can be. Uh, three damage if you actually put a counter on it with Kumano Faces Kakazan, or you find some other way to boost the power. So yes, uh, I'm going to show you my version of Toilet Gaming. We're going to play a lot of games. We're going to light stuff on fire. We're probably going to win because that's what Best of One Ladder is, unless you specifically show up to beat it. And I think that's why a lot of you watch this channel, quite honestly, because I do. I show up to beat Mono Red most of the time. But today we're going to learn about the enemy. Let's dive in. Let the Toilet Gaming nonsense begin it's also toilet gaming because i'm gonna shit all over this ladder on the play of course this is a hand i think we actually open on swift spear and the next turn kumano powers up the swift spear to attack and we can also play chick the next turn scamp can come down with a plus one plus one counter or felden this way we gain extra damage out of Kimano. Opponent drops to 15. Let's see what they do with their first play of the game. Soldiers! Thalia. Good, we have all creatures. Nice. All right, how do we get through the Thalia? Do we make a 3-3 here? I think so. Hopefully the burn spells show up soon. Into the plaza, into the veteran. The ground is getting locked down, but there's damage in the air. Let's try to hit a land with the attacking Felden, I think. We could also kill the Thalia. If we kill the Thalia, there's a 1-1. One, one. Don't particularly love that, do we? We could attack all first. What, the, what good's a 1-1, one, one, though? Not very good, right? Oh, yeah. Exile. I know how my cards work. Five life. Show me, soldiers. What are you made of? A Cathar that is brutal. And a pass to a mechanized warfare we can't cast. to three down to two death near by a pair of angry chicks okay creature and a creature just need one more point though one more whittle point of damage 
this is mono red we play mono red mono red mono red hit the face till they're dead beautiful with gas still in the tank the end of the festivities is nigh all right fun we go in the air for some damage play the warfare blow stuff up oh nice it's grev Ooh, do we play an epicure that can potentially block here nah forget that over the top chicks let's just start the party epicure can be more damage if we get the warfare down first whoa just like that we poison in okay all right too toxic got it got it i understand now i definitely want to play you but it's like do we want the chick to have the counter or the epicure and i think the answer is the chick poke 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 we fight we fighting again Dude, the mites are biting up in here. Are you kidding me right now? Look at this. Look at this. They're trying to do it all with one mite. All right. I thought they were going to pump this, but they didn't. They say go. Now we have to watch out for this little seed core nonsense if we wanted to use end the festivities. Ooh, we can have a counter on this so that when it dies, something takes two damage. Or we can have the 2-2 flying chick. Yeah, let's play this first. Just from the current position, we have to be a little careful. In a few ways, we're, in, we're at like six life. Can you stack these? Like, can you put one trigger on the stack and then the other? No, because by the time one resolves, it's no longer a 1-1 creature, right? So the bonus doesn't happen. I think that's how that works. Judge. Opponent wants to rumble. Let's rumble. What you got? What you gonna do about it? Complete devotion. Uh, and you draw a card? What the heck is this? All right, kill it. Try to kill it. Killed it. So you must have more creatures. Okay. And they let the shields down. So it's a good time to end the festivities on that thing. Before that they have a before they have a seed core available. And now they have no board. Gross. Very gross. All right, they have no board, but they recovered. There's the land. Let's go. <laughs> this is getting scurry. Drop them to nine. Let's see what kind of defenses they have next turn. They can get us to seven poison from what I can see. Maybe eight, nine if they have something that targets twice. Okay. Homestead Courage can only be cast once. They only have one source of white. Okay. Just you. Got it. This also can't get pumped because it's not a 1-1 one, one creature. Blow a Contaminator we might be able to kill, though. If we can't win this next turn, that's probably the play. The Colas. That can be a 3-2. But if it dies, they don't get anything. That's not a great draw. But it's not terrible either. I think we take our trades. If they pump the chorus to trade, they don't get to make another creature with the Mirix. Ooh, do we want this? Then we can't lightning strike. We're so close to dead, but they're going down to what? Five? Which means one more point and they die. Can they kill me next turn? If they don't get a might, I'm going to decline. <laughs> oh, it feels bad. Opportunity to bring back a chick and we don't do it. Sends a message though.
Opponent, you're going to have to do better than that. Imagine hoping I don't have a lightning strike. Wouldn't be me. I mean, you can see Core the Phoenix chick. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> pew pew. They always have it. You can't, you can't, you can't expect them not to have a lightning strike. This is mono red. This is mono red. And you know what mono red does? Ranks up. <laughs> the only issue we have is being on the draw. A mountain? Oh no. The only thing that can beat us is us. All right, Swifties. Unfortunately, I don't know if this end of festivities is going to help, but if we draw one more land, who knows? Maybe we get the mech warfare down. Uh huh. Uh huh. Three toughness is a lot. Rude. Yeah, we went second, and it's not great. All right, Swifty. Come on, now. Big turn. Let's see if they can add a lot more gas here. And the next turn will be a big turn as well, as we may or may not draw land to keep doing our thing. Okay. <laughs> Busted. Eight life. Draw. Whiff. That is basically a failure. So how much do they hit for? None, two, three, four, five. I just have to hope they have nothing. Like... Like, we, we're not going to win this from a defensive position in our situation at all. So we just have to hope they have nothing. I know. Analytical mono-red gameplay. Yeah. Wasn't hard, was it? Good for them. It's going first is a, a skill that you can really cultivate. The biggest fear is ourselves. Just let me out of this game. Why? Why does it take longer in the worst of losses to get your little anti check mark so you can leave? Why? On the play, so we win. This game's already over, right? 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 Uh, Epicur. It's more likely to get a hit or two in if you do it on the play. The opponent won't necessarily play something that can block it on turn one. But this opponent's special. Nah, they're not going to block this. What are you talking about? Let's get Felding cooking. Citadel stalwart. Elves. Elf stuff. More elf stuff. Why, why can't I end these festivities? All right, land off the top is good. Let's peck away. Nothing. Yeah, I mean, there's like, it makes sense, right? There's just no use for blocking in these matchups. There is no game being had. I think we let them have their mana and see what they play and just go face. I don't think anything else really matters. Oh. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. No. I think that I think that makes it worth it, right? Your bite down is a failure. Augur of Autumn. Still a mana open. Interesting. So we could try to strike that. If they have a Tyvar stand, they have to tap this for mana. Dude, look at all the instants in your green deck. This is this is what they've come to. This is the desperation of mono green. They're already at five. They're at five. 
and made relevant plays. They just got value off the top. They've played creatures and instants. They've double spelled two turns in a row. It just doesn't matter. Well, we'll see. They're not dead yet, right? Maybe they got something here. Maybe they, maybe they pull off a little trick. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's go. They can still put blockers everywhere. Down to four. They hit a land. They hit a defiler. Pay two life, I dare you. Keep you your face. <laughs> going first. Going first. Ah, that's mono red stuff. Ah, I see how it gets addicting. Dear Lord, what is happening? <laughs> this, is, this is something. Wait, did my opponent go first? Oh, no. Not like this. I thought I did when I kept. But, you know, you guys have the, the replay. You guys can just go take a look. See how dumb I am. The reason it makes a big difference is if I'm on the play, turn one Swift Spear makes a lot of sense. They probably won't kill it. And then next turn, double Kumano, it swings in for a lot. And then the Phoenix Chick the next turn is huge. If you're on the draw, you probably want to go Kumano first. Hmm. Or wait, we can... Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. It is a good question. All right. Actually, I'm going to go... Yeah, we're going to go Swifty first, right? Swifty first. And then we have a big phoenix chick in, the, in our future. And unless they kill it right now, we just go so ham. You. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. We'll see if it matters. Need to draw another creature, of which there are many in the deck, so it's possible. All right, we're doing this again. We're doing toxic stuff. All right. Hit him. And we fly. It's going to be a race. But I don't think the chorus is going to be up to it, to be honest. They have to start thinking very defensively because these are transforming. If we're coming over for seven next turn. <laughs> okay. Send that message. Oh yeah, send that message. Where's end the festivities though when you need it? Hello. Okay, they're gonna take it. We got a gamer here. Can they finish me off with some poison nonsense? Against all this next turn? Let's find out. Equipped creature gets plus O plus two and toxic. I mean, I've seen the mono white poison deck a little bit now. They are scraping the bottom of the barrel to try to get enough poison into that deck. If we had an end the festivities, this would have been a bloodbath. As it is, it might still be a bloodbath. They turn one lay down arm, turn two double chorus, turn three they double spell again. Yeah, get your attack on, let's go. Good game? Probably. <laughs> this is hilarious. This, this game is just so like, messed up. Why is it this way? Why do we do this? Oh, negative 14. This is mono red. We play mono red. I, I should not be enjoying myself.
on the play one lander, but we've got to play with fire, so it's awesome. It'll be great. We'll find the land. I believe in us. Oh, I didn't get it in in time. Did you see that? Okay, so... All right. I see. I see how it is. See, I was trying to put a stop right here. Uh-huh. So now they have removal. And we don't want to risk the play with fire, because if we miss the land drop, we don't get to play anything with the plus one, plus one counter. So we're actually not using our upkeep stop here. But next turn, probably. My chick! Okay. Just keep it coming. Just get your points in. Uh-huh. Same old crap. Here's the scry to the land. Oh, it was already there. Feels a little bad, but that's life. We attack, we lose one of these, we drop to 10. How much worse does it get? A lot worse, right? They play Shieldred now and we lose. That is how we lose. If they don't have the Shieldred, we just have to get every point we can for the rest of the game. Scamp it up. Felled in next turn, so we're attacking with three things. Wow. Okay. Harvester. Gutsy stuff. I mean, one of them is going to die, but it causes the opponent to use a pain land, and then the harvester probably blocks the other. It's just about getting it all in before they find life gain, which is usually shielded. Ooh, that's three cards, right? Not a single one is a land. Awesome. I guess I'll take a phoenix chick. Base or Harvester? So how quick is the clock? I need more time, don't I? I do. Fable. Opponent's definitely taking the I'm going to attack, I don't care what you do stance. Oh man, I can play Mech Warfare, then these can deal two each next turn. But if they have Invoke Despair, Mech Warfare did nothing. Whereas I can drop them to five. And then if these are around next turn, the Mech Warfare gets a pretty big push. Seven. Six. Five. More creatures. Just pitches them. Children are bust, yeah. And they, they have attacked every turn, so this is consistent. We can hope they spend their mana on an Invoke Despair. It's another Fable. Okay. Pit fighter, not really the jam, but here we go. They have a removal? No, go for the throat. Okay, but they can't kill me next turn as it stands. I guess they can invoke despair, can't they? Oh, they need the land. Oh, takes it, goes to one, because they have lethal, right? This is nine, they just need invoke. But they can't tap this for black. They're going to get two treasures if they do it right. The Sheldrake goes to the bin. 
hits us. But, you know, it looks like it's going to work out for him. Yeah, good job. Good job on the treasures. I was hoping to cheese him with the auto shuffler or something. Exactsies. One to zero. Couldn't be closer. Couldn't have been closer. Man, would I have loved it if I had just found one more point. Opponent goes first. Hard mode, as we call it here in the mono red universe. We'll go for the 2 1. Got hot in here. I turn off the heater. So, toxic? Toxic. All right, let's just clear this out of the way. Where are my festivities? I feel like it's been forever since I've ended some festivities. The cause. Okay. They want to trade that this turn. Next turn it exiles. Oh, they just courage right now. Okay, I see you. So we want to, we don't want to trade because we can wait till next turn then trade. So we want to play the chick and then I guess we play the scamp because the swift spear here isn't very good. Although if we put the swift spear down now next turn, we might be able to either mech warfare or lightning strike for it. Also, this with a counter is good and all. It just isn't going to get through anytime soon and the chick will. So yeah, I think we actually play the swift spear after and don't attack. Feels weird. Oh no, a 3-3 three, three Vigilance. Let me guess, a 4-4 four, four Vigilance? Huh? Thinking about it. Yeah, you keep taking damage. All right. The pain lands are on our side. They work for us. Another land off the top. There's the transformation. Now do we kill this 4-4? Four, four? Or faces the place? Yeah, faces the place, right? Right? Isn't that how this works? Down to seven, just from playing one mana creatures. Feels strong. Sentry. Wants the chick, I'm sure. Okay. No attacks, probably, but we're still going face. <laughs> so you can't stop me. Oh, Miss Lethal. Oops. It's fine. We'll get him next turn. Forgot how prowess worked. I in my head I assumed they would block the swift spears when they didn't. My brain didn't compute. Oh yeah, get you some. Whoa ho ho. Okay. Ping. Ping. Easy. Never didn't have it. Gross, actually. I feel a little a little toxic myself on the draw three lands flooded all right let's kick it off with the pitch fighter which soldier is this denny all right how to best handle a lifelinker i'm just gonna play the felden and say go we'll wait till we have mechanized warfare to bash through the denick Gonna be the controlly version. Doesn't appear to be Esper. Yep, wedding. Okay. Eh? You want some? Come get some. Okay. Another land, huh? So if we attack, everything dies. It's not particularly good. 
but the Felding gets some card advantage. We don't want to trade with this 1-1 one -one is the biggest thing, so I think we're just going to play the Warfare and attack with the Felden. The Denic trade is fine. We get the Lifelinker off the battlefield and we get a card replacement. Two la- It's going to be one of those games. Okay, sure. Why wouldn't our deck have six lands in the top 12? All right. Well, it's time to pile up that damage. This is wandering emperor territory for the opponent. We've got to consider that. We definitely want to play the Kamano faces Kakazan, but we want to do it after the emperor enters the battlefield. So let's end the festivities first. Play the mountain from exile. Maybe I should have played the Swift Spear first. Ah, yeah. Having four mana, I'm not used to it. All right, hold back that Kumano because it's going to kill the Wandering Emperor. Run away. You'll be safer. Plus and nothing, huh? So they're going to sweep the board with like depopulate? That's interesting. This isn't going to go. Fortunately, we got a lot of damage through. Yep, there it is. They still get the 2 2 and a 3 3, so they're sitting pretty. Protect. Strike off the top. Strike off the top. Ah! I think I have to turn this crucible into better. See what we hit. Really, really want another etching. Ah! Wow. Well, that's flooding. That is flooding. These are the these are games where it's like, what can I draw? Nothing. Um, we lost when we drew the fourth land. Then we drew the fifth, sixth, and seventh. So nope, 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 nope. But good on some blue white player who somehow somewhere got a deck list that could actually beat mono red. I wonder where they got it. Where do you think that comes from? On the play. Pit Fighter. Lead with Pit Fighter. It punches for two. Let's see if this is a matchup where in the festivities is good. Not really. Uh, not, after, not, not against a Kumano is the problem. Kumano faces Kakazan. Heck of a card for keeping things out of in the festivities range, but we'll see. Maybe we end up playing it all next turn. We are on the play this time. If we draw well, we might just be able to run this opponent over. Okay, their card is a Swift Spear, so festivities won't kill it. What else do they have? Oh, they're they're that deck. They're angry. They're angry red. That's a whole other deck, too, that you can play. There's a million different monocolored red decks that you can play. Hmm. I think we play our third land. I think we play our Epicure. I think we save these for next turn. Drop them to 11. Wait till they're actually thinking about blocking, and if they never think about blocking, maybe we just get there. Because what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just need to, like, play with fire off the top if they have no blocking. Oh, 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 oh I see. Okay, we're going after the Epicure now. You're going to attack with both. Yes! Why wouldn't they? Alright, seven life. Swift spear that keeps getting absolutely ripped out here. Swifty. Point. Festivities. Ping. Festivities. Ping. You can drop them to one, but we can't finish the job. So let's just hold this back for a block or an attempt at one. 
Down to the wire. That little plus one, plus one counter because they had the turn one Kumano is the whole difference. Yep, they've got that. Can they get there? Three. I bet they really need a land. Okay. They gotta, they gotta chill. Okay, we force a trade. Without that creature, I don't think they'll find lethal. But let's see it. Epicur, they need to, they need a blocker at least for the Kamano faces Kakazan. And they need to keep me from drawing damage. That is damage, but it's slow. Okay. But I'm not giving it up. If this dies, it's all over. They need to be able to do all the damage to face on their next turn. Or a way to block this without it dying, which is very unlikely. Very unlikely. Oh, we got a reader. On the play one lander, easy keep. What could go wrong? Swifty. Get him. Land and what? Rot priest? Rot priest, huh? What do we do? Do we let him have that? It's a tough call. The scry could be huge. They took a damage on turn one to get it down. It's clearly what their deck does. Let's draw. Yes! <laughs> Never punished. I've never been punished in my life. But. <laughs> Black green. I mean, those are the tra some traditional, like, kind of poisonish, in fact, gross colors. Abzan? Oh, they're taking damage for their their choice here. Ooh, look at that draw. Although right now we would get the pit fighter, but let's just let's just get the warfare down. Down to 10. Abzam poison. What what else do you put in the deck? Do you do you have something besides rock priest in the deck? We be biting? We got biters in the deck. Okay. Now well, the poison's coming. But you're gonna die. It won't be pretty. You won't want to tell your kids about this one. No, you will not. Tap a pain land for me. Make a little green mana. I mean, was it good? I... Uh, this is for you. I'm try to be nice about it, but <laughs> I mean, I, I like it when they struggle a little more, you know. I don't take that out of context. Three lander. Every land we draw after this is dangerous, but at least we have an epicur. It's not the greatest hand. It's a little underpowered, but hey, this is mono red. We just play our one drops and smile. Maybe this Pit Fighter will actually turn a mountain into two new cards when we don't think it will do any more damage. Or maybe we can sack the Epicur. It says, activate only if opponent lost life this turn. I mean, there's multiple ways to do that. I haven't had time yet in this particular round of games because all my opponents have been dead. It's been nice. Am I supposed to attack? Yeah. I'm definitely supposed to attack with these two. I don't know if I'm supposed to trade a 1-1 one, one for a 2-1. But this thing grows. 
it becomes an issue. Scrap Gorgies. Hmm. We have to kill that. We have to bolt that. I don't know. Can we win the game if we're if we're casting a lightning strike on Scrap Gorger? We're gonna find out. Maybe they rely on it, right? And letting them jump straight to a four drop would be our downfall. Bolt the bird is uh it's the same for a reason, man. But we've got a long way to go in this game. We need to draw a mechanized warfare really badly. We need an amplifier. Oh, a 3-3 that gets some land. See, that seems like a nice wholesome magic card. I'm not afraid of that. It would be a land, wouldn't it? Play with fire. That probably goes face. Opponent will probably play another creature next turn. I think we want to keep the three creatures around, though, to get the chick back if they kill it. Because this is going to keep pecking away. As long as they don't attack us, and we're always threatening to attack them back, I think I'll be happy. And just getting those little points. That's what we have to do. We have to keep getting these little points. They definitely run some larger creatures if they're going to play this instead of a jeweled thief. Fusling. When it enters the battlefield, plus one plus zero for each oil counter has trample whenever a creature or artifact is put into a graveyard. Gets an oil counter. Okay. Maze Crusher. Ugh. Alright. I mean, those can hit really hard. This doesn't have reach and it's not removal except for artifacts and enchantments. It's fine. This is fine. Why am I drawing mountains? Why am I flooding? Okay. All right. The Magic the Gathering has made its decision. Oh God, that has reach. That's probably game, huh? Yep, just, just couldn't do it, man. Just couldn't get lucky. And we can could have killed that thing, but I don't think we're going to win the game that way. Oh, they're attacking with everything. All right. So this is it on our turn. We want the extra point off the Swift Spear. Although they just block one anyway, but who knows what we'll draw. So on upkeep, we're going to play with fire and try to win game. Somehow. If we draw Mech Warfare, maybe? Does that mean we should not cast it on upkeep? If we draw a mech warfare, what happens? They block here and they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It does, okay, that doesn't matter. Um, so that's if we draw mech warfare. So we should take our shot at drawing mech warfare by hitting play with fire to face on upkeep. Right? Right. This is the way we still get Swift Spear bonus. That is not it. We draw. Never didn't. Balls. All right, next turn. Definitely dead, right? Maybe one blocker gets something done, but this thing will get a big old bonus. I guess we could make them do it right. They might not. You want to block? <laughs> Scared him. Okay. Maybe I should have held the land just so there was hidden information. Change their play. But let's not overthink it too much. Let's make them activate their maze crusher correctly and then we're dead. That was an ugly flood, but if you draw six lands with this deck, you're very unlikely to win anyway. Also having to kill the scrap gorger. I think it was right in hindsight because of the Halana Elena would have just run us out of the game probably. 
Maybe I was supposed to let them have the Scrap Gorger and try to kill Halana Elena with the Lightning Strike, but they could have just played around it. Yeah, this is not good. Ah, man. That just sucked. Everything, everything there just sucked. On the play with the one lander, we keep those. Hmm. I guess Epicure, because we might want to start using blood tokens to try to hit lands if we start falling behind. Teferi and Lightning Bolt. Like, you should put this Teferi emblem away. You are, you are a poser, and we know it. Can't attack through that. Awkward. Okay, Phoenix Chick. Sage. Scamp. Whatever it is. I didn't expect a 1-2 on turn 1. Or I would have played the Scamp. Two mountains. Is it a different kind of red deck or what? Oh, go. Okay. Well, let's see what they do about this. If they kill it, I might hit a mountain this turn. Send a message. Nice. Mountain? No mountain. Hmm. No mountain. And what a tough set of choices. Could just plan for double end the festivities next turn, but I don't think that's particularly good against them. I'm not sure what they're going to play this turn, though. Pro oh, they might play Fable. If they play Fable. It's a great choice. Okay, the ceiling, like the floor is pretty low, right? Like the worst case scenario... Decline. The worst case scenario is we just get rid of a Flame Stoker. The best case is they play Fable. We blow up both of their blockers because they feel safe. Okay, Chandra. It also hits their Planeswalkers. Don't think a fancy dress means I didn't come here to fight. Uptick, make mana go. There's a mountain. Okay. I'm done playing. Do we kill their Chandra? Yeah. There's some kind of a go big red deck. Let's take their Chandra off the board. Do we play more creatures? No after party. I'm wiped out. I'm gonna play another scamp. It can attack through their flame stoker, and if they sweep the board, they still take some damage. Oh. Guess they didn't like that. <laughs> okay, then. No sweepers. Got it. All right. On the play, Kumano, Swifty, Chick, Falconrath, Pit Fighter. It's definitely a keep. I think the jam is going to be Pit Fighter into Swift Spear, Kumano, into Chick and things. Because... Chick with counter, very good. Swift Spear buffed by Kumano, very good. 2-1 wants to hit early. I don't think Felden changes it, but we might play Felden next turn with the counter. Stormcarved Coast. Oh, is that a tap land on the draw? You must be punished. I'll take a quarter of your life total. Easy. Imagine believing in blue cards. All right. I think the situation is that we try to play a chick, see if it gets countered. That in the graveyard is fine. And then a Felden. Uh, Felden with a counter is nice and all, but I think if I play Felden with a counter, it will immediately be countered. But well, plus one, plus one counter versus a make disappear is what I would expect. Okay. We're doing it. Let's go. Let's go. Syncopate? Sure. Guess I walked into that one. But let's see. Brotherhood's end or bust here for the opponent. And even then, it doesn't catch the Kamano, so more damage comes in. All right. Alright. 
going to put in the festivities on the stack just to get a damage in. Then we can sack the pit fighter and draw potentially for the first time in this video, but it does help. That is eight damage coming at you, blue, red, white mage. Fires of victory. You got it. Drop you to three. I also think that this one's time has come, so we're just going to try to draw some removal. Player removal. And we hit a mountain. Could have played the scamp right there. I think we hold it back. I think sweeper is kind of something they have to do. Revelry? That sucks. Hmm. Well, we don't want them to gang up. Looks like they have another removal spell. Nope, not yet. We're down to four. I think we put this out then. Playing around the next syncopate. Oil. All right, can they string together more of life gain? More of the best cards that they need here. They burn down the house. Okay, you're at three. Draw the lightning strike. Yeah. Like I said, when you draw your fourth land, you probably lose. When you draw your fifth and sixth, you definitely lose. I'll give it, like, one more spell. Good enough for me. It happens. I can't wait to draw the fourth Kumano faces Kakazan and no creatures. This is going to be wonderful. Oh, okay. We got a little Phoenix chick here. Let's go. Swifty. Play. No, they're down to three cards, and they're trying to just burn me out as fast as they can, so that's fine. We're the one with the sagas, so we're going to keep trying to flip those. So let's play another one of these. Let's play an Epicure. That's a 2-2. Two -two. We have to take a defensive posture. The opponent's just throwing everything at us, though, so they'll run out of gas. life. All right. We got two triggers to think about here. So we definitely want to play the chick. And chick no block. And now we have the play with fire open. This isn't going to do anything for at least another turn. I don't know for sure I'll have a creature next turn, but I think we just have to get these to flip. Lightning strike my face. Yep, I, I see you. Now let's see if they have a creature that's not a phoenix chick to go over the top. Oh, it flies! It's not Phoenix Chick. Lucky, though. Very lucky. Alright, 14. This is 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm gonna miss this by 1. I'm gonna miss this by 1, potentially. Okay, so we have to be able to block... Guess I'll keep the Vampire. Like this. Sets us up for an attack for lethal next turn. If they remove this, then they would have had face damage anyway, right? Oh, 
No response. No response. By the way, opponent, this is how you use your spells as removal. Removal is something that happens in magic when instead of shooting the opponent's face, you cast your spells targeting their creatures. It's a very different concept for sure, but one that you may need in a future game someday. Just, you know. Well, thank you for coming to my TED talk. And we are back for a quick post game wrap. Stats check nine and five in about 57 minutes. So if you want to just slam out about 14 games and win over 60% of them, just play your red cards in whatever order you like, really. I couldn't play much worse uh, <laughs> and still easily thwarted all kinds of brewers and dashing their hopes and dreams. So um, I do say if you want to play Mechanized Warfare, if you actually believe in that card, I think a build like this is better than other builds that play expensive cards like Raiju when those decks often fail when you don't draw enough land, whereas this deck only really fails when you draw like... Uh, too many lands. Like you saw me keep multiple one landers and it worked. And that basically removes part of the equation. Most decks need to draw either like this perfect Goldilocksing of lands. They need the perfect amount of lands for their deck to function well. And if you play cards like Thundering Raiju and Mechanized Warfare, you need a one drop, a two drop, you need your three drop, and you need your four drop, and you need the lands to accommodate them. And that's basically more ways to, I would say, lose if I'm being blunt about it. Whereas if you can keep a one lander and win because your deck is curved like this, you remove half of the equation, right? So anyway, that is my take. I think that if you play Mechanized Warfare, you should play like this and your toilet gaming can bring you to Mythic. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next one. You are cool. CoolStuffInc.com is a proud sponsor of me, CGB, and you can get my unique Dragon Rider token and 5% off your entire order by using the code CGB5 at checkout. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this sweet dragon token. If you need singles for constructed or kitchen table play, and you want to pick up sealed product or the latest magic accessories, remember to use the code CGB5 at checkout for 5% off and get my Dragon Rider token. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock.